I also want to share another piece that was really meaningful to me from the book, uh, which I didn't write. It's called Growing Pains. It's an anonymous piece. Um, it, it really struck me and pained me to the point that I had tears in my eyes reading it multiple times, um, not just the first time I read it. Uh, it's about a woman who struggles to have sex with her husband. Um, she's unable to achieve penetration. Uh, she, she is in immense, immense pain and has to tell him to stop. Her doctor doesn't really take her seriously. She just says, oh, it's just growing pain. It's the beginning, just use more lube, you'll get over it. Um, and she also... Uh, her orthodox, her other orthodox friends didn't talk about their sex lives openly. So she, she didn't know if other people also experienced this or not. She didn't know if she was crazy or broken or normal or anything um, until she talked to some other non-orthodox friends and gynecologists and was finally diagnosed with vaginismus and vulvodynia and I learned that these are very common among women from cultures that have negative education around sex uh, and she she writes in her piece I spent the first two and a half decades of my life being told that sex that any touch between the sexes was bad and shameful it's hard to flip a switch on that mentality just because I had a ring on my finger and that line has really resonated with me and I, I really quote it a lot um, because we can't just magically flip a switch on how we perceive sexuality once we get married. A, a, thing, a ring on your finger doesn't undo the trauma that your brain has internalized and that also has real physical co consequences on, on your body. Um, so unless we talk about these conditions openly, and since, uh, since publishing the book, um, more people have, have opened up to me, um, just uh, as I said, as the, the book became a conversation starter, uh, people have opened up to me about their own vaginismus or other, uh, or experiences of PCOS uh, that's also talked about in this book uh, and kind of like came to me saying, Thank you. I saw myself in in this book, and I had I experienced this too. And I I never would have known, um, and I never could have been there for them uh, if if we don't talk about it. Um, so I think that these conversations are super important. Um, both both the the, uh, the conversation that we're having right now uh, and and the the conversations that are started uh, by this book and by these performances um, and and I think that feelings around guilt uh, around sexuality and um, are are super common but I think that they're also avoidable and and the way to, to avoid it is having better sex education, of course, and also allowing us to understand what's normal by creating spaces for these open conversations um, and, and being able to show the spectrum of lived experiences of women um, for the betterment of our mental and physical health uh, so that we can feel less alone. Um, and when we open up about our stories, uh, and we feel, and, and people hear, and they feel less alone, then they also in turn uh, can hopefully feel more comfortable speaking out uh, themselves. 